In this lecture, I'm going to solve this question. Suppose that 30% of all students who have to buy a text for a particular course want a new copy, whereas the other 70% want a used copy. Consider randomly selecting 25 purchasers. In part A, we have to find what are the mean value and standard deviation of the number who want a new copy of the book. So first, let's write down the information that has been provided in the question. It's given that n is equal to 25 and let's say that x is a random variable that denote the number of students who want a new copy of the book. So x, it is a random variable and it denotes the number of students, denotes the number of students who want a new copy of the book. So what are the possible values that X can take? Well, because we have selected 25 purchasers, the possible values that X can take starts from zero and goes till 25. So there are 26 possible X values in this case. Also, we are given in the question that 30% of all students who have to buy a text for a particular course want a new copy. And this is what we are considering as the successes. So that means we are given that P, which is the probability of success is equal to 0 0.30 and consequently Q, which is the probability of failure is equal to one minus P. And we are given that this is equal to 0 0.70. So 70% of students want a used copy. And in part A, we have to find the mean value and the standard deviation. So it's quite easy. So basically we have to find the expected value of X because it's mentioned that we have to find the mean value of the number who want a new copy of the book. And because we have defined our random variable as the number of students who want a new copy of the book. So that means we have to find the expected value of X. Okay. So this is equal to N multiplied by P. This is the formula and we are given both these values in the equation. We know that N is equal to 25 multiplied by P, which is equal to 0 0.30. So multiplying these two values, we get 7.5. So this is the expected value of X. Now let's find the standard deviation of X. We have to find that as well in part A. So let's find the standard deviation of X. We know that standard deviation of X is equal to under root of n multiplied by p multiplied by q and we are given all these values in the equation. We know that n is equal to 25, p is equal to 0 0.30 and q is equal to 0 0.70. Solving this, we will get 2.29 and this is the standard deviation of x. So this is all about the part a. Let's move to part b. In part B, we have to find the probability that the number who want new copies is more than two standard deviations away from the mean value. Now have a look at the language of the question. This is important. So it's saying that the probability that the number who want new copies is more than two standard deviations away from the mean value. So it could be two standard deviations less than the mean value, or it could be two standard deviations greater than the mean value. So there are two possibilities here. So basically what we have here is that the probability that absolute value of X minus expected value of X should be greater than twice of standard deviation of X. Or in other words, you can say that we have to find the probability that X is either greater than expected value of X plus twice of standard deviation of X or the probability that X is less than expected value of X minus two times of standard deviation of X. So either X should be greater than this value, this value or X should be less than this value. This is what we have to find. And we are doing this in this manner because we are given in the question that the number who want new copies is more than two standard deviations away from the mean value. So now let's put the values and solve this question. So we have to find the probability 
that x. So you can say that this probability is equal to the probability that x is greater than 7.5 plus twice of 2.29 plus the probability that x is less than 7.5 minus twice of 2.29. So the standard deviation of x is 2.29 and the expected value of x is 7.5 and I have written plus here because it's an OR condition. Okay, now let's solve this. So that means we have to find the probability that x is greater than 12.08 plus the probability that x is less than 2.92. Well, we know that x is a discrete random variable. So the values that it can take are in the form 11, 12 and 13. And here we have to find the probability that x is greater than 12.08. So that means we have to find the probability that x can take all those values which are greater than 12.08. And all those values are 13, 14, 15 and so on. So basically what I'm trying to say is that because x is a discrete random variable so instead of writing 12.08 we can write 12 here it won't make any difference okay because if x is greater than 12 the next value that it's going to take is 13 only and similarly because x is a discrete random variable and it should have a value less than 2.92 so this means that I can write here probability of x less than equal to 2 right because if x is less than 2.92, it can take the values 0, 1 and 2. And if it can take only those three values, this is how I can write it. The probability that x is less than or equal to 2. Now this should not be difficult to solve. So basically I can write probability that x is greater than 12 as 1 minus probability that x is less than or equal to 12, right? And this, let's keep it same, the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. And now we can use the binomial probability tables to find these probabilities. So let's have a look at the binomial probability table. So in our question, we have n is equal to 25. So that's why we are looking here, n is equal to 25. And we have to find the cumulative probability where x is less than or equal to 12. And our p-value is 0.30. So basically the probability that we are looking for is this 0.983. Our p-value is 0 0.30 and we are finding the probability that x is less than or equal to 12. So this is the probability value 0 0.983. So let's write it down. So this is equal to 0 0.983 plus we have to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So the probability is this, 2 is here and the probability is 0 0.009. So this is equal to 0 0.009 and solving this we get 0 0.026 and that's it. This is the answer to part B. Let's move to part C. The bookstore has 15 new copies and 15 used copies in stock. If 25 people come in one by one to purchase this text, what is the probability that all 25 will get the type of book they want from current stock? So let's take it step by step. It's given in the question that the bookstore has 15 new copies and we have to find the probability that all the 25 students should get the type of book that they want. Now when will this happen? Well, this will happen when there are at most 15 students who want to purchase the new book. Because if there are more than 15 students who want to purchase the new book, then the bookstore will not be able to satisfy the demand because he has only 15 new copies. So that means the first condition is that the number of students who want new book should be less than or equal to 15. Right? So this is our first condition that X should be less than or equal to 15. And now the second condition is that the number of people who want the used copies should also not be greater than 15. Like imagine a situation where out of these 25 students, 20 want used copies. 
So in that case, the bookstore will not be able to satisfy the demand of those students because he has only 15 used copies in stock. So he won't be able to give the used copies to five students. So the second condition that we have is the number of students who want used copies should also be less than or equal to 15. Now, what are the number of students who want used copies? Well, it is equal to 25 minus X because X is the number of students who want new copies and there are total 25 students. So 25 minus X is the number of students who want used copies. And the second condition is that this should be less than equal to 15. So these are the two conditions that we have. And this condition here implies that X should be greater than or equal to 10. So X should be less than or equal to 15 and it should be greater than or equal to 10. So basically the problem boils down to finding the probability that X is greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 15. If this is the situation, only then all the 25 will get the type of book that they want from current stock. So let's find this probability now. Well, we know that this is equal to the probability that X is equal to 10 plus the probability that X is equal to 11 till 15. The probability that X is equal to 15. So we can write it as a probability that X is less than or equal to 15 minus the probability that X is less than 10, right? If you subtract these two probabilities, then you will get this expression. So now let's write it in a more friendly manner. We can write that this is equal to probability of X being less than or equal to 15 minus, we can write this probability as the probability that X is less than or equal to 9, right? Once again, this is because X is a discrete random variable and if it's taking values strictly less than 10, then that means it is taking values less than or equal to 9. Okay, so we can write it in this manner. And now we just have to use the binomial probability table to find these values. So let's have a look. So now in this case, it's 15 is here and the value corresponding to this is 1. Okay, so this value here is 1 minus, let's have a look at this value and 9 is here and this value is 0 0.811. So this is 1 minus 0 0.811 and this is equal to 0 0.189 and this is the answer. Now let's move to part D. Suppose that new copies cost $100 and used copies cost $70. Assume the bookstore currently has 50 new copies and 50 used copies. What is the expected value of total revenue from the sale of the next 25 copies purchased? Now, first of all, let's note down some things here. So the bookstore has 50 new copies and 50 used copies. Okay, and we have to find the expected value of the total revenue from the sale of next 25 copies. So even if the next 25 purchasers that the bookstore gets, even if all of them wants a new copy, the bookstore will be able to satisfy the demand because he has 50 new copies. And the other case could be that even if the next 25 purchasers are those students who want a used copy, then even in that case, the bookstore will be able to meet the demand because he has 50 used copies in stock. So what is the total revenue function in this case? Total revenue of the bookstore is equal to price of the new copy that is equal to $100 multiplied by the quantity of new copies sold, which we can write as X because X is the number of students who want a new copy, right? And plus the price of old copies multiplied by the number of used copies that the bookstore will be able to sell. And because we have to analyze this for the next 25 purchases, so this should be equal to 25 minus X, right? Because if X people want a new copy, then out of 25, 25 minus X will demand a used copy. So this is the total revenue function that we have. So we can write that this is a function of X actually. So we can write it as HX. 100x plus 70 multiplied by 25 minus x and this is equal to 100x 
प्लस वन सेवन फाइव जीरो माइनस सेवेंटी एक्स एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एक्स प्लस वन सेवन फाइव जीरो सो दिस इज द टोटल रेवेन्यू फंक्शन दैट वी हैव एंड द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ टोटल रेवेन्यू सो नाउ इट्स क्वाइट सिंपल वी जस्ट हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एच ऑफ एक्स एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटायर एक्सप्रेशन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड व्हिच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी एक्स प्लस वन सेवन फाइव जीरो एंड वी नो दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रोपोजिशन दैट वी हैव फॉर एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यूज वी कैन राइट इट एज थर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स प्लस वन सेवन फाइव जीरो वी ऑलरेडी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इट्स सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सो दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सेवन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस वन सेवन फाइव जीरो एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन नाइन सेवन फाइव डॉलर्स एंड दैट्स इट विद दिस वी आर डन विद द पार्ट डी एस फिल सो दिस इज ऑल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन